Folks, today's video is gonna tell you everything you need to know about having a solar off-grid water system on your property, on your farm, for your house, for your building. This is a Lorentz solar system, and I'll post a link down the video description for you guys in case you wanna pick yourself one up. Eco-friendly, off-grid power, off-grid water water systems that will work anywhere on the planet where the sun shines. That's what today's video is all about, guys. Welcome to the Stony Ridge Farm. I'm Josh. We're here on the 150-acre first-generation farm project, and all of the water that goes to our livestock is pumped via these two solar panels and a Lorentz solar pump down here in the well. Today we're going to go all around. We're going to talk to you a little bit about what it's like to have a solar, completely solar system, no battery bank, no backup, no backup power, 100% off-grid solar water system here on the farm. We're going to show you the waterers and we're going to introduce you to how the whole system works. I ain't afraid of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done to do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life times like this. If you can mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. All right, everybody, welcome to the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. If this is your first time or your 50 millionth time here, please hit that like button, consider subscribing to the channel. We do everything rural lifestyle and we're building a first generation farm here in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Currently, we have 33 cows out here on 150 acre farm, about 65 to 85, maybe 75 acres fenced in here on the property, depending on what measurement tool you use. So this solar well pump is from Lorentz Solar. We're gonna walk around it a little bit. We've got two solar panels. There is a controller that you can use via Bluetooth to run this thing to get all your data. You can actually download data. You can see how much energy savings you have created. You can see how much water the cows and livestock are drinking, and this will serve as a water system for a home, for a farm, or for an entire village. I think Laurent Solar is all over the world providing water systems in off-grid scenarios just like this. So without further ado, I wanna walk around this and we're also stick around to the end. We're gonna talk about the woes of having a solar system like this. Cloudy days got me and they got me good. And I had to do a little bit of uh, thinking to get water to the cows yesterday. So let's walk around this solar well system. We have eight solar panels up here in place. This all comes in the kit from Laurent Solar. Underneath this, this is an insulated rock. I'll show you up underneath there. That's where the pump and the pressure tank goes for this setup right here. And underneath the ground throughout the entire farm is one mile of one and a quarter inch poly pipe. Now, as we walk around behind this, you can see the solar panels right here. Each one of these solar panels says it's rated at 190 watts, 36 volts, 5.28 amps. Again, we have eight of these. These are all hooked together and these are all hooked together and they all go into a switch box, which is right here. So this is the all-inclusive control box from Laurent Solar. I'll post a link to Laurent's in the video description down below. Over here is a lightning protection device over here is a main shutoff switch. We open this critter up right here. It's a sealed box, and right there is your main shutoff. You also have a secondary shutoff, which is right here, and that's on. There's a little toggle switch. So if you wanna shut your water down, you simply click that toggle switch over. We are currently pumping right now. Power is on and we are pumping. So right now I am on the Pump Scanner app. Pump Scanner is from Lorentz Solar and this tells me exactly what's going on. So I have all the data that I need. You really can't see it uh, from camera to tablet, but I can see that I've got 4.4 gallons per minute pumping out right now at 29 PSI currently. I can also look and tell my actual data which is how much sunshine, irradiation, 1,010. Uh, that is how much sunlight we're getting. And right now our current voltage is 175 volts. We're pulling 0 0.60 amps. The motor is pulling 2.2 amps. And the flow rate again is 4.4. So 4.4, 4.6 gallons per minute. We will fill the entire water system back up since it ran completely dry. Now what you need to know is if you have several cloudy days, you're gonna have to have a backup water tank supply and or a backup power supply for your solar well. So all these solar panels are nice and warm. They are set 
in this direction, they are pointed south. They are also angled appropriately to get maximum sunlight throughout the year and so that snow and ice will shear off of this and will not cause us a problem in the future with weight and or pulling over this and or blocking the sun out. This is a little infrared sensor from Lorentz Solar. This sensor right here tells these two solar panels when there is enough light to run the well pump. The well pump can't run on really low voltage or it will wear it out prematurely. So that's why we have this safety device to make sure we have the right amount of power to run the pump. Underneath this insulated rock is, it's a big fake insulated rock, is our solar well setup. This is our pressure tank right here. Pressure tank is a necessity if you're gonna have water valves coming on and off. And that's what we have in our water tanks and you'll see those very soon. If you shut a water valve off and it hits really hard, it can send a surge of pressure down into your well. That's called water hammer. We wanna prevent water hammer, we put a pressure tank in here. This tank has water in it and a rubberized bladder. So when you shut a valve, instead of it, bam, stopping real quick, it slowly relieves the pressure. Down in here, this well is the casing. Right here, the well is 460 feet deep. The static water level is 23 feet deep, meaning the well doesn't have to pump up from 460 feet. It only has to pump from the static water level, which is 25 feet. It pumps from here right over to there. And we'll show you that next piece of equipment that's in the watering system. That's a water tank. So the way this system is designed is so that we don't overwork our well pump. And I encourage you guys to do some research on how you want your system. The well only has to pump from here over to here to this water tank. This water tank stores 1,500 gallons. This is a backup resource for me also. If I have good sunny days, I can turn the water tank off when it's full and let the well do the work. If we have really bad days that are cloudy and rainy like the last week, then I can turn this guy on and it'll serve as gravity feed to every part of the farm. So what you're seeing here from Northern Tool and Equipment is a 1,500 gallon above ground water tank. This is an above ground water tank. It's not designed to be completely buried, although I did bury it slightly. So what I did, and you can see by the footage, is I dug a hole out, I tamped it, I leveled it, I put rock dust all the way around here so it would have a smooth surface so we didn't get a rock up against the edge of this and rub a hole in it. This is not very robust material, but it's great for storing water. Our frost line is 16 inches, so I buried it approximately 16 inches to keep this tank from freezing in the wintertime when we got really cold water temperatures or air temperatures. This is the shutoff for a valve. There's a ball valve underneath right here, and I can turn this on and off to feed whichever waterers I want. We're gonna go take a look at those. Let's just pop the cap here so you guys can see inside what we have. The water level is low in here because we had several days of overcast weather. You can see down in there, that's our water level. We're only at about eight inches right now. The well is pumping, the sun is shining. That's how all that works. If you just wanna take a quick peek, just open that right there. This is water storage for backup. I hope this is helping you guys, giving you some good ideas. What's the reasoning behind having a water tank versus having a battery backup system? Storing water is much, much less expensive than storing power. The maintenance on this is simply turning a valve. The maintenance on a battery bank backup system is gonna be replacing batteries. It's gonna be much, much, much more expense. So if you can store water instead of storing power, that is the ideal scenario. Now, we're gonna go look at a tire water tank that I have, and then we're gonna go look at another kind of water tank. It's called a mirror fount frost-free tank. This is a tire water tank here on the Stony Ridge Farm. It's approximately 650 gallons and it's an old used skitter tire. So what we did was we came in, we scrubbed the skitter tire out really, really good, cleaned it as best we possibly could, set it down here, built a base upon the ground, poured concrete in here and put a valve system in place. So let's take you around, we'll show you that. It actually has a goldfish in there and that goldfish lives year round in the tank and helps keep it clean. So this is the skitter tire. It's a great big tire. Again, approximately 650 gallons. This sets up on a high hill too. You can see how the water level is lower. This actually serves as water storage 
four other water tanks, which are on down that hill right there. Now you see these three pieces of conduit. This is just PVC pipe and conduit, and this is to help keep young calves from jumping over into the water tank. If the water got really low, a young calf could get butted or jump into here, and it could endanger its life. And if you look real close, our goldfish, see that little gold spot right there? He's right down in here. This is called a Joby Mega Flow Valve, and that's what services this water tank right here. That is a tire water tank. Now we're gonna go look at the Mirafount frost-free water tanks that we use on the farm. This tank will freeze on the top if the weather gets cold enough. 650 gallons if we have temperatures down in the sub-zero mark for five, six days, then the temperatures in here will cause ice. We'll come up here with a hammer, knock off the ice chips, and it'll never freeze all the way through. That's a lot of water, and we just don't get that cold here in North Carolina. So we're gonna take the Honda over about a half a mile away from right here and show you the other water tank. The cows are in that pasture, and we're actually gonna move the cows, and I'll explain to you what we do with the cattle on this farm versus what great grandpa used to do. We do it a little bit different here on the Stony Ridge. So guys, what we do here on the farm is a little bit different. You'll see around the waterers, <laughs> there's fencing all the way around the waterers. So we move the cows from paddock to paddock to paddock, from here, over to there, over to there, over to there, we move them. In the summertime, typically we're moving them twice a day. In the wintertime, we're moving them daily or maybe every three days, something like that. The problem we had was this tank down here ran out of water, then this tank down here ran out of water, okay? What I saw was these two blue balls were not floating. So first thing I did was go up and I turned my big water tank up on and that filled everything up. I failed to turn it off once it filled everything up and that's why it all leaked out. We can pump up to, I believe, 25 gallons per minute, but don't quote me on that. My well provides 20 gallons per minute and again we have the flow rate set at 4.5 gallons per minute so that we'll never ever really drop the level of the well and I set that up in that app by myself. Very, very simple. This is a Mirafount 3390 frost-free water tank and you can see there's supposed to be two little balls, blue balls, floating on the top right here. This is a frost-free setup. In other words, it should not freeze. It's an insulated water tank setup and we'll take you over there and walk you around. You see the girls sticking their nose in. They're a little bit thirsty. There's some science at work here that you need to know. So this is set up where the cows can do exactly what they're doing. Just put their front feet up on the water tank itself and stick their head in here. They push this ball down, which would generally be floating. They'd push that ball down and access the waterer. This, when it's full, has two blue balls that float up to the top, which help to seal in the heat and keep out mosquitoes and water bugs and stuff like that. So in the wintertime, it's keeping the water warm, warm enough to not freeze, and in the summertime, it's keeping the bugs out, okay? We also see this is a, a valve set up underneath here. It's got a float valve, very, very simple operation. And what caused this entire problem was a leaky valve down here. I set the valve up and it overflowed through these overflow holes in the 3390. And I think those holes are actually right here. They're over here on the other side. Right there is one of them, cool. So the girls are still a little bit thirsty, but as you can see, see that water in there moving. We're filling up as we speak. So this is how the solar well system works on the farm. Now, we're gonna think about this a little bit. We had the 1500 gallon tank over here for storage. We also had the two 650 gallon tire water tanks. So when that valve, it, when the floats all the way up, that valve is engaged and it will not backflow. But when the floats down just a little bit, it will actually siphon back to these waterers over here on this side of the farm. We have five of these Mirafount frost-free waterers. One more down here and three more in this other pasture for a total of one mile of inch and a quarter poly pipe, 450 gallons. Do you see a theme here, guys? It's all about 
water storage. It's not about pumping water, it's about water storage. This is all gravity fed, typically. As you can see, this is the backup water tank solution that I came up with. We've got 33 black Angus beef cows on the farm here, and we move these cows in the summertime twice a day, in the wintertime around one time per day or three times per week out here on the land, and we unroll hay out to them. This is the temporary water tank, and what I had to do was take this little Honda generator, and walk over here and show you. This is a Honda 2000 generator. What do you call it? The EU 2200. And we used a SmartBot sump pump. This is a small but mighty sump pump right here. So what I did is I took the generator, I set it down right here, and I ran to a pump, which you can see right down there in the creek for a temporary water solution for the cows. This is something that I never had to do before. But what I'm trying to tell you here is that you need checks and balances. You need to have checks and balances in place and you need to have backup systems for your backup systems when you're on a large piece of property like that and or you have a solar water setup that doesn't store power. That's how the solar water setup works here on the Stony Ridge Farm. That's exactly how it all works. If you're considering putting a solar system in for your water setup on your property, I would go Lorentz Solar. Super easy to deal with. When I had a problem, I reached out to those guys. We solved the problem. They taught me how to hook up the additional four solar panels. Every step of the way, Lorentz Solar has been the very best. Now, if you go buy a cheap solar pump, well pump like this, and put it in the well, the controller typically on a cheap one is going to be down in the well. In other words, whenever you have an issue or a problem or something's got you scratching your head, you're going to have to pull that pipe all the way out of the well in order to service the pump and find out your data. That's where the Lorentz solar pump really comes in handy. There's also, I'm told, a cellular device that hooks to that and we can monitor it via our phone and our tablet now, which is super awesome, guys. So that's how the solar well system works here on the Stony Ridge Farm. Please post any comments or questions you might have. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you guys so much. Hit that like button on your way out the door. Take care. Have a great day. Intro and falling down right there. Just tripped. What did I trip over? Is not all Good. Not all good. Good. I think I've got a better vocabulary. So you really have to pay attention to what's going on. J Johnny babbles a lot. <sighs> As we are about a half a mile from the well. Okay, guys. It's not sickles. Yum. See ya.